No sooner has Python 3.11 been released, the attention of some turned to 3.12. In fact, it's been in active development since April, with some new features already implemented and others being planned as we speak. With about a week to go until the second alpha is released, I've been doing a little digging to see what's in store for us once 3.12 graces our editors in about a year's time. Of course, it's still early days, so there is every opportunity for new plans to be created and current plans to be scrapped. However, at time of recording at least, these are all the things we should be getting excited about in Python 3.12. Let's start with some things that have already been implemented, shall we? Wstring attributes are being removed from Python's Unicode implementation as part of PEP 623, which will reduce memory usage, runtime overhead, and implementation complexity. While the connection is never explicitly stated, this is probably a step towards making UTF-8 the default encoding mode, a change currently scheduled for Python 3.15. Sticking with Unicode, GitHub issue 96734 bumps the Unicode standard version to 15.0. Marvellous. Other implemented changes include adding a walk method to pathlib's path objects, adding a delete on closed quarter temp files named temporary file constructor, and removing the file name attribute from gzip's gzip file object, which has been deprecated since 2.6. Wait, hang on. Are we sure? Python 2.6? That came out 14 years ago. Yeah? Okay. Weird. In terms of upcoming features, the biggest news is probably the introduction of multi-threaded or multi-core parallelism, which would involve making the global state thread safe such that sub-interpreters no longer need to share the global interpreter lock. In simpler terms, once these changes are implemented, multiple threads will be able to hold control of the Python interpreter at the same time. This is huge news for people who had previously shunned Python for its lack of proper multi-threading support, though it's not yet been determined how much of an effect this will have for everyone else. The faster C Python team isn't stopping there, however. Also included in their plans for 3.12 is optimizing runs of multiple codes by replacing higher level ones with lower level ones, decreasing the size and regularizing the layer of object structs, and performing specializations of various bytecodes. Back to pure C Python development now, and on to PEP679, which concerns allowing users to use brackets in two argument assert statements. Previously, providing both an expression and a message within brackets caused the assert statement to treat the entire tuple as an expression, which would always pass a truthy check. This mistake is so commonly made among users that a syntax warning was introduced in Python 3.8. Not only would this change prevent users making the mistake in future, but it would also bring the assert statement in line with other statements that properly support brackets, such as del and import. Speaking of imports, PEP690 is introducing full support for lazy imports, which will defer the finding and execution of imported modules until the moment an imported object is first used. The standard library already includes partial support for lazy imports through import libs lazy loader, though this doesn't work with from imports. These changes will not only mean that unused imports will never be loaded, but circular imports will be almost entirely resigned to the history books. PEP698 introduces an override decorator, which will provide a mechanism to mark methods within a subclass solely as overrides of their superclass counterparts. Decorated methods will raise typing errors if no matching signature is present in the superclass, which should prevent bugs from recurring during code refactors. This functionality is already present in many popular languages such as C++, Java, and TypeScript, so it only makes sense to add it to Python as well. Now, I could go on and on about all of 3.12's new features, but I'd be here for about 20 minutes. If you do want to do some reading around currently planned features though, I've included links to PEP 687, 692, 695, 696, and 699 in the description alongside everything else. This probably isn't an exhausted list of everything planned, but these are all the PEPs I could find that were marked for 3.12. With regard to future videos, I'll make another one of these around the release of the first beta in May 2023, so make sure to subscribe to be the first to see it. If you like this video, leave a like to let me know, and feel free to tell me what you think of the proposed updates in the comments. I want to know what you're excited about. For now though, I'll bid you farewell, but make sure to stop by on Friday when I revisit Python 1.0 for probably the final time. See ya!